You know, every once in a while, I get a little gift from the universe because here I am sitting in my office with a jacket on in the basement in winter. It's February 6th as, 6th as I record this, and I have not been able to ride dirt bikes for a long time. Like it's been, the weather in Utah has been just, we've had so much wet weather. I've not been able to ride for a long, long time. And I'm just kind of digging through some footage or whatever. And I find this little gem. This is a ride that I took on a 20, my 2022 KTM 250XC. I've since given this bike away um, as a sweepstakes bike, but this was August. This is back in the middle of August in 2022. And I'm out here in the desert in like some really fun dirt because it, it had just rained. So it was a little bit greasy in certain spots, but it was just like chocolate cake in other spots. Chocolate cake, dirt, great dirt. And I'm like, I sat here and I watched this writing video all the way through. And I was just like, I was just like, my mouth was just open because I'm like, I want to go back and I want to do this again. So the universe gave me a little gift today. It's funny because usually I don't like watching my writing videos back because I was there and I've done it so much, but I haven't actually even produced a writing video for a hot minute here. And it feels like I haven't ridden for a hundred years. I literally have only ridden bikes, dirt bikes twice since November 30th. I rode once in uh or twice two short things in december and i didn't get on any rides in january so i'm just struggling 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 but anyway i'm gonna let you guys watch this this is my 250xc it was a sweepstakes bike i gave away had a real fun time on this day in fact i shouldn't like i remember being there and i wasn't even having that much fun in the moment because i was just kind of out of it in my mind but watching it back here i'm like dang that was fun you know, so I can't wait to get back out. I've got a couple of bikes. Hey, just updates. So some of you will probably already probably already know, but I have a 2023 Yamaha YZ450 FX that is ready to start riding, uh, and that will be a sweepstakes bike for March. And then I also picked up a TM EN300 FI. It's the two-stroke TM. Um, that bike I'm going to have to start, you know, putting things together for it. But it is sick and so i now have a tm motorcycle that will be a sweepstakes bike for june um the other sweepstakes bike that i'll have for march is going to be this uh carbureted converted it's a gas gas ec 300 that my buddy tyler did um and he's converted everything it's just it's a total amazing like build that he's done extremely expensive we got a lot of money into it that will be a sweepstakes bike in march uh, but that's what i've got going on so some cool things coming down the pipe but i'll let you guys watch this riding video here on the 2022 ktm 3 250 xc basically an amazing bike I, I love this bike and it was running so good such a fun uh flashback for me today to uh show you this so anyway i'll let you watch this and uh, leave a single track thanks well so now i didn't have my front wheel lifted high enough for the second and i couldn't get the drive because I spun in the mud. There's fourth gear, dude. I'm gonna get back to third. you could hear that through the Sony action cam, but that was a hard hit on top slash side of my head. Uh-huh. Whoa, that was slick. And kind of back to the trail here.
gosh, I love the way this bike runs. It didn't always run this good. It wasn't until last, I mean, I had to tune it. Both the air bypass screw and the power valve on this one. I had to move the power valve a long way on this one to get it to run where I wanted it. Get it to sound and feel and respond like I wanted. It took a bit. This, this one took maybe longer than most of the TPIs that I've had. But end result runs like a screaming demon. I love the way this bike runs right now. Runs amazing. to coming down as I've come in a little bit. Dang, I almost want to go back and look at that. Look at that mud. Splatter. Because I had that bike going sideways, dude. That is really slick mud. When I came into that, and the bike was just pushing. Those tires were sliding. You know, you know when that front tire is sliding like that, making that sort of a track. And look how how caked it is. It's completely caked. We'll throw all that, throw a bunch of that stuff off here. Yeah, that was. Spike the heart rate for a sec. Like, oh, are we going down? Trying to steer into the... Let the front tire roll, get off the brake and steer into it. Front tire's already cleaned out. Right there. 